explain all the feelings that you're making me feel My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel Touching you Touching me Touching you God, you're touching me I believe in a thing called love Just listen to the rhythm of my heart There's a chance we can make it now We'll be rocking till the sun goes down I believe in a thing called love I wanna kiss you every minute, every hour, every day You got me in a spin, but everything is a-okay Touching you Touching me Touching you God, you're touching me Listen to the rhythm of my heart There's a chance we can make it now We'll be rocking till the sun goes down I believe in a thing called love Chance we can make it now. I believe in a thing called love. There's a chance we can make it now. I believe in a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please could I now ask that those who are comfortable and able to do so, that they stand for the arrival of the bridal party. Are you Nicola Jade Smith, free lawfully to marry Matthew John Harris? Are you Matthew John Harris, free lawfully to marry Nicola Jade Smith? I am. 
Einicke Jade Smith. Take the Matthew John Harris. Take the Matthew John Harris. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I, Matthew John Harris. Take the Nicola Jade Smith. Take the Nicola Jade Smith. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honour and cherish you. Honour and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways. And in all ways. Forever. Forever. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And bind my life to yours. And bind my life to yours. I promise to love. I promise to love. Honour and cherish you. Honour and cherish you. In all times. In all times. In all places. In all places. And in all ways. And in all ways. Forever. Forever. I am delighted to announce that you are now legally married. Come to and kiss your bride. <laughs>
First of all, we made it. We're here. It's felt like Christmas this week, or the run-up to Christmas, and today is Christmas Day. So, thank God. Um, writing a speech that encapsulates everything about your daughter and the next chapter in her life has got to be the most hardest thing ever. I'm actually shaking. Can you say I'm in trouble here? Um, simply because there is so much to tell. And I mean, where do you start with Nikki? Where? It's got to be right at the beginning. Um, for me, I must go right back 28th of the 7th, 93. That's my bank pin code as well. Um, when, it's not, it's not, it's not. When the world changed forever and along came our baby girl. There she is. Um, suddenly you're responsible for another life where up to that point it was just you. And I'm sure every parent in this room has had that daunting realisation at some point. Now, I have to say, Matt, having spent precious time with you on the stag weekend, I am very impressed. <laughs> Reg, you have, way, you have raised a well-rounded young man with a great sense of humour, and I know Nicky will be safe in his hands. To be fair, if Nicky hadn't married him, I might have turned myself. <laughs> I would like to finish my speech with a toast to Nikki and Jack and close by saying I still have to pinch myself that the little girl who we used to read fairy tales to and tucked into bed at night is now married and embarking on a life-changing journey with Matt. God bless you both. You've worked hard and prepared well to tackle the heights and lows of whatever the future holds. Just remember, all you need is love. Yeah. To Nikki and Mac. Nikki and Mac. Well, that was lovely. Um, <laughs> might lie with the tone a little bit, if that's okay, Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Matt is the story of dressing up. <laughs> Matt loves dressing up. <laughs> I think the phrase I've heard most from him, apart from little chicken, men, and that band had this much talent, <laughs> is I love dressing up. <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd been in a band, he'd done wrestling, but could he do theatre? <laughs> we asked him, Matt, what does the role entail? He said, what I have to do is wear a mask and at the end, take it off and be really attractive. <laughs> I said, I don't want to sell yourself short, Matt, but I think this is in your wheelhouse. I think you've got this. Nothing, at that, that does, you've got this. I said, we did warn him though, there was one thing. Don't fall in love with beauty. <laughs> I think he slipped up there. Uh, yeah, he really did drop the ball. <laughs> Nicky, I'm so glad that he found you. Someone that not only supports his music, his character work, and our collective delusions of rock stardom, but also encourages it. And, um, and I'm so glad that you continue to be <laughs> and the, the fact you continue to share in them as well as the number one co couple in the Walsall pantomime scene. <laughs> when Matt asked me to be his best man, I was so honoured. And I said, will we be wearing suits? He said, of course. I said, good. I love dressing up. <laughs> So can I ask everybody, please, to raise your glasses to Beauty and the Beast. Hello everyone, um, my name is Matthew and uh, I'm Nicola's husband. Yay! 
trying to write a speech to describe how I feel about you was really, really difficult. Um, so the only thing I could really think of was a, a quote that stuck with me. It's by a chap called Mark Twain. Um, it says, the two most important days in your life are the day that you're born and the day that you figure out why. Nicola, <laughs> you're my why. Um, I love you to bits with all of my heart and you are by far the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, so just to give you a bit of a story, you see five years ago my life changed forever. I, uh, I signed up to a, a pantomime. <laughs> oh yes I did. Uh, with the amazing people that are sat over there. So uh, Simon, Emily, Darren and Tony and our Dawn. So uh, I arrived in the, uh, the, the Warsaw Theatre. Uh, Tony just sat there. She introduced me to everyone, which was fantastic. And then she took me over to meet the actress that was going to be playing Belle. And when I tell you, in a moment, a very quick moment, my life went from a very dull, lost, black and white to four colour. The moment Nicola turned around, just everything, everything changed. With a simple hello, I was just blown away. Um, I was convinced I'd just seen the most gorgeous person in the world um, and weirdly felt like I'd known you my whole life. Um, I'll never forget the first time Nicola told me she loved me. It was actually on page 44 of the script. <laughs> but as she said it, I thought maybe this BG lookalike has a chance. <laughs> despite all the other actors saying, no, you psychopath, it's just in the script. Uh, but I was hopeful. Um, I was just completely in love with Nicola from the first chance, uh, from the first moment I saw her. Um, one awkward memory was actually in the rehearsal rooms when I heard her mention to someone else, she fancied Chris Hemsworth. So just to play it cool, I slithered across the floor just to tell her I had a Thor costume. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I saw multiple people trying to press a panic button. <laughs> um, but uh, Nicola, I I've truly had the honor of performing with you on stage and now the joy of becoming your husband. Um, I'm your biggest fan. I truly love you with all of my heart. I, I miss you when you're asleep. I know that sounds creepy and weird. <laughs> But sometimes when you do fall asleep, I try and wake you back up to start a conversation just to, just because I miss you. Um, but uh, I just, I want you to know, I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. Um, you're the most talented and amazing person in, in the world to me. And I'd just like to close with just one final thing, which is something Nicola showed me, which I think sums it all up. It says, uh, you know you found the right one when the word forever doesn't sound long enough. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd please raise a glass to my beautiful wife, to Nicola, and to forever. <laughs>